if you throw me hard enough, I'll stick to the wall. And that's the intro to my vlog clip. Great. <laughs> Guys, I don't know if it's just me, but for the past week, I feel like I've just been going through it. Like I've literally just been, I've had no energy. I felt so sad and insecure about my life. And today I decided I'm gonna change that. Today I woke up, the sun is shining, it's Saturday. I'm gonna go into town, I'm gonna get my hair cut. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna tan. I'm gonna just give myself a little bit of a pamper day, actually. I'm just having a self-care day, girls. I'm literally just having a self-care day. I don't care what anyone says, I'm gonna eat good. I'm gonna cook whatever I want. I'm gonna watch whatever I want on TV, watch some movies. I'm gonna have my hair cut, I'm gonna move around town. I'm gonna be the main character of my life and I've decided I'm not gonna I've been in a little bit of a rut and today is the turnaround I spent yesterday feeling a little bit sorry for myself lounging around I would paint in did some art to try and sort my brain out and it just didn't really seem to work But I've woke up this morning with a new outlook on life and I'm deciding to not let life make me the bitch I'm gonna make my I'm gonna make life my bitch and I'm gonna have a glow up in the process because this hair, boy, this hair is really um, getting me down, getting me all types of things. Oh, Lord Jesus, may the day bless us with greatness and no tears left to cry by Ariana Grande. <laughs> I really do have a swollen gland. For some reason, that part of my neck is normally like, and it's like swollen, I can feel a lump in it. Anyway, not me complaining. Hi everyone, I have had my hair cut. The day is now over. We had a little fajita night as like a goodbye, me, Anna and Freya. We're all going home for Christmas now, I'm not gonna see anyone until we come back towards New Year. But I had a haircut and I've not filmed anything. Um, hi everyone, oh God, look at my hair. I'm saying I've had a haircut. I've not done anything for it. I wanna try and grow some sort of mullet type thing. I know mullets are like already been and gone, but I want to grow like the back bit of my hair here just a little bit longer and then shave the side so it's kind of like mullet vibes. I want it to be long enough so that I can eventually perm the top of my hair and have like a nice, I've basically seen this guy on TikTok who is the coolest guy of all. His fashion, his tattoos, his hair is just incredible and I'm like, I want to be that. So that's the aim and I know mullets have all sort of been and gone, but I feel like I want to just try. I'm not going for a full mullet like because I feel like I look absolutely hideous with a mullet, but I want to, I have like an image in my head. I'll insert a photo on screen of a hairstyle that I absolutely fucking love. And I want something like this, but not as long on the back. So this is stage one. I basically just had it like start to be shaped. It just needs to grow. I just don't know why my hair's not growing. Like it's just not growing at all. But I feel better now I've had my hair cut. I, like I said, have spent the day with Anna and Freya. We had Bailey's and hot chocolate. We did plan to watch a film around mine, but we didn't end up actually watching the film. We just ended up on TikTok and just chatting and we had fajitas and now my apartment's a mess. And I've got a, I'm driving to Newcastle in the morning to go to Edinburgh with Lewis. Oh, I don't know why, for some reason, I cannot shake this like thing inside me. I'm normally the type of person that is like, right, come on, I'm not gonna be sad. I'm like, ugh. I, for some reason, cannot shake it. My entire body is just like, ugh, I mean, ugh, ugh, ugh. I also, whilst they were out, bought some more of the filler that I used to try and make an art piece. Still not enough, but we get in there. I don't wanna show you the update, I wanna show you it finished, because right now, <laughs> Right now, it's not looking the greatest. But this is the current state of my flat. I literally have shit everywhere. I've got to tidy up. Not me watching Jack's vlogs. I feel like Jack, Jack's vlog channel is everything that soothes my soul currently. Um, I wish they were more for me to watch, but I've watched everything. I'm just enjoying seeing Jack just live his life. It really soothes my soul. <laughs> We 
Ian Lewis are in Edinburgh! And we just come up to Edinburgh for the day. We were meant to be here for two days, but then the hotel got cancelled. I can't believe there's so much. Is that the sea? Yeah. I've never been to Edinburgh before. Obviously, Lewis is from Newcastle, so he lives really close. We've come for the Christmas market, so we were meant to be here for two days, but we've actually just coming up for the day. Gays take Edinburgh. Let's go, girls. Uh, so, stage number one of being in Edinburgh, Lewis has blisters because he's wearing his new shoes. What did I say? <laughs> Just gonna mind my bloody business. Okay, it looks ridiculous. Right, we've just been sat in a little pub, had a little pint of cider. Uh, we don't actually know what we're doing during the day. Like, we wanted to come to go to the Christmas market. So Lewis has been dying to show me the Christmas Gaggy. market. But we wanted to go when it gets dark. So we were like walking around looking for things to do. We've literally just been walking in and out of shops. Just gone for a little pie, and now we just moved in to try and find a Greg to get something to tide us over. Basically, we wanted to go ice skating at the Christmas market. It turns out the ice skating rink's permanently closed. Um, oh, temporarily. My bad. So we're not actually going ice skating. That was the main event. That was the main, that was a build up. You were going to watch this entire video just to see us go ice skating. But that's not going to happen. So we're going to have a little mooge round. There is an ice skating ring, but it's absolutely tiny. We're going to have a mooge, have a look around the Christmas markets. Everyone on Instagram is telling me that they're awful this year. So it's all just going great. Going to get a bloody sausage roll down my laughs. Moment, moment of truth. Me and Lewis were just saying, toxic trait, numero, whatever. We feel like we can do all these games, but in reality, we actually can't. Do you want me to hold your beer? Of course. Who won? Zero. Who <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh>, two? <laughs> there's no way. No, there's no way. None. <laughs> Right, after that horrible attempt at basketball, we've decided to go on this. <laughs> oh, it's awesome, yeah. oh, it's <laughs> oh my god, my god, my god, my god. <laughs> 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 Edinburgh trip is coming to a close. Our train's in like half an hour. Um, we're currently trying to find a Tesco to get like a meal deal to have on the train. Basically went around the Christmas markets forever, then went and sat in Weatherspoons, also forever. Played a little game, and now we're trying to find a meal deal to get back on the train with. But yeah, short and sweet, my loves. In and out. Oh, they're having a fire. Yeah, do I have a fire? We've um, made the decision to come to the beach. I never actually knew before coming to Newcastle for the first time. Not my first time, I'm not saying like this is my first time. But the first time I ever came to Newcastle, obviously to see Lowe. Didn't realise they were bloody beach. All I knew of Newcastle is Geordie Shore. And they do go to the beach actually in Geordie Shore, so I don't know why I didn't actually uh, clock that Newcastle had a beach. But it's bloody gorgeous. This is one of the many. One of the many beaches. Oh look, they have a fire as well. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh, you look so cute. Lewis pre thought the beach attire. So we've got some flip flops. Oh, it's chilly. And you're going swimming in this one on Christmas. Yeah. This is the one you're coming to? Yeah. Lewis has decided that him and his brother are going to go for a morning dip in the Atlantic Ocean. It's the Atlantic, isn't it? Yeah. Bloody lovely. No music on because that's not royal, that's not copyright free. <laughs> so you're just going to go to piano. Right, the time has come. 
me and Lou have been waiting to see this film. We thought we'd book it and go and see it while we were in Newcastle. We're going to go and see the new Spider-Man. Um, Freya and Anna went to see it the other day and told me that they cried the entire way through the film. So I just know for a fact I'm so invested in this Spider-Man franchise, well the new one anyway. In fact I've watched all of them and loved all of them. But the one with Tom Holland in especially I've watched, I've literally watched the first two like eight times. I think it worth at one point my film that I would put on to fall asleep to. So I just know I'm going to cry but we're going to go watch it at the Everyman. First we're going to go to a shop called End. Let's have a little browse. Is there? There's one there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, go and watch Spider-Man. So I'm not going to, I'll let you know my thoughts. I'm not going to leave any spoilers. I've avoided spoilers for weeks now. Um, finally happening now. Just, just had a little cider in there. So Jack, and now we're going to go and watch a film. And I'm probably going to cry like a little bit, but I can't wait. I don't know if I'm saying that and then I'm actually not going to cry because I feel like because I'm prepping myself to cry, my tears are just not going to come out. I'll force some. Force them out. Stand by you when you're falling When the river is calling I said I love you forever We can make it together What goes up must be down There's lots of friendly faces all around And nothing's ever lifting me mean by it's a ghost shop? It's a ghost shop. What? They sell ghosts? Yeah. Are you meant to find one that like suits you and then it gets delivered on this train thing, yeah? Oh my god, what the hell? You know, I'm meant to find one and look at it and it'd be like your ghost. Really? What yeah, are they made out of though? What? What are they made out of? Um, cum and, and what does concrete. It do with you? I stand by you when you're falling when the 